Hi guys and girls. I'm gonna do a quick reading today and getting some lots of different messages coming through. And so I just wanted to do a quick reading for the general collective instead of doing a pick a card. I feel like I'm I'm better with these um General, more general readings, yes, but some people may feel like there is a specific message for you. Um, and with that being said, for those of you that don't feel like any of this resonates, that's perfectly fine <laughs> for others. There may be moments when something really hits the nail right on the head, and for those people, these messages are for you, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and pick the first card here. I'm getting Diana. So your may, name may actually be Diana. Ah, so is there a Diana watching? <laughs> this is for focused intention. So for those of you that are looking to manifest different things into your life. I know a lot of people talk about manifestation and even I've talked about manifestation on my channel. I find the best way to actually manifest what you want into your life is to be extremely specific about what it is that you want and make sure that that is exactly what you want. Because with some things you, need, you may need to just sit down and journal out exactly what it is that you want and understand that the more specific you are and the more you make a plan, the more you put action and intention into uh, manifesting that what you want, um, those manifestations just kind of happen. If you focus on it way, way too much, uh, then sometimes it just doesn't happen because your, your focus is so intense and you're so intense on something that you want and it just isn't happening and you get frustrated. Have you ever noticed when something you really, really want comes through when you least expect it? Sort of like, here I was doing manifestation for money and I was uber focused on it. And then today I'm more focused on my health and my tax returns go through today. I'm like, yay! I'm seriously, I was dancing in my car. I was so excited that my tax returns went through. I think the lady next to me thought it was a little ridiculous. But I was super excited about that. So it's one thing to be super focused on something, which is a good thing, but again, uh, sometimes when you pull that focus back just a little bit, sort of like you're uh, pulling the arrow and you're taking a look at all of the perspective in, that's going on. And once you let that arrow go and it hits on the bullseye, is kind of when you are in this relaxed kind of state of saying, okay, it would be really cool if I get a bullseye. And bam, there you go, you got your bullseye. You got exactly what you want. Okay. Now I am pulling Lady Portia, Divine Order. So there could, there could be someone named Portia that's tuning in. This could be for you, or this could be for you from someone named Portia. Is to do what you feel like is right. This is um, a really important lesson in um, letting yourself kind of unfold to a certain degree. So you're letting your story be told. I know for myself, there are many things that I was just way too scared to talk about in my life um, because, well, people told me to keep it a secret and you better not talk about it or else or I'm gonna kill you or you know, make all these threats and you're not supposed to talk about it. I get that, really, I do, truly, I get that. 
Um, but Lady Portia is telling you that in divine order, in divine time, you will be able to talk about these instances that have happened in your life and you'll find more people will be on your side than you, you even are aware of. I know for myself, I felt like everyone was against me when I first started talking about something and then I realized that I wasn't alone. I wasn't alone at all. It, something had unfortunately happened to many other women as well and you know it's an awful thing that happened to me and um, these other women but um, as a whole we were able to come together and um, heal and um, talk about things and um, learn how to cope with things and also at the same time um, be able to um, bring um, justice about and that and that was extremely healing let me tell you so it's important to know that healing is um, I'm, this is a major message going to one specific person um, and I'm really sorry about what happened to you um, it's absolutely awful and I'm really sorry and I, I can't really say that word on uh, YouTube anymore, but what happened to you was really, really awful and I'm really, really, really sorry. Um, and you will be able to heal from this, but this means making sure that you find the right therapist, that you find uh, someone that can help you through this, that you reach out to maybe a secret group on Facebook or um, talk to your friends or talk to um, someone in your um, community that you trust, that, that you know that um, will keep your secret, but at the same time help you to find ways of um, coping with things. And I found for myself that art and music and taking walks outside, nature is extremely therapeutic. And I'm hearing this as a message for you to go out, get your hands dirty, um, work in your garden, uh, plant some flowers, and um, do them in, in memory of someone that is dear to you. Plant some of their favorite flowers. Plant your own favorite flowers. Get your hands into that dirt. Dirt has serotonin in it and it will help to release your own serotonin. So it's sort of like connecting with Mother Earth. And as you're doing all of these things, you know, as you're pulling the weeds, you can think about pulling out all the ugliness out of your life. And as you're planting the flowers, think about all of the beauty that you're about to bring to your own backyard or your front yard and focus on that. Nature is wildly imperfect yet amazingly beautiful right so I want you to start thinking about your life that way and that is an important message that I am getting from spirit for you okay so let's find another card and this is faith humanity and benevolence and this could actually I think this is for someone named faith <laughs> <laughs> so faith here being asked to have some faith um, this is humanity benevolence kindness uh, opening your arms to other people that you would probably never expect to um, fill you with so much love and so much light um, so I'm feeling like I, I'm getting a message that is very unexpected for you. You never thought that this would happen, um, but you're very excited and you're very happy. And embrace that. Don't be scared of embracing that that love and that excitement and that um, feeling like if you get too excited about something, then it's not gonna happen. I know I felt that way many times in my life. <laughs> if something doesn't happen and then you're very um, disgruntled and disappointed and everything. But about this is, you know, just be excited, be happy. Um, there's not, you're gonna be happy about what is 
unfolding in your life. Um, I, it's it's, it's, it's sort of an interesting thing that I'm um, hearing and as I'm clairaudient, <laughs> um, that this divine order, as all of this is unfolding, you're, um, you a singer? I feel like Faith is a singer. That you're gonna be very excited about, maybe you have a CD that's coming out, that's about to drop, that's about to do really well, and it's all happening in divine order. Um, and you've been very focused on making this exactly the way that you want it. Um, so, yeah, that is what I've been hearing. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Okay, so let's pick a few other cards. I love this deck. I've been working with this for a few years now. Let's see what we have here. Jual cool. Dharma unfolding. So here, this goes again with this um, story that's unfolding in front of me here. Someone's life is unfolding here in front of me. Um, is remembering that you are on a path and one step at a time it takes you to happiness. That's, this is an amazing, beautiful read here. Um, coming forward and telling your story, looking in perspective, and also focusing maybe on your bullseye point is healing and having your faith in um, the divine, doesn't matter what you believe in, something bigger than yourself, um, universe, creator, God, Allah, whatever your faith is, it is going to help support you um, and bring about that divine order for everything to unfold in your life. And this Dharma unfolding is just another uh, supportive uh, here. And you're going to find support from them as well. You're, Let's see, let's pull a few more cards here. Can I get a little bit more information on the Dharma unfolding for my uh, viewers, please? Kalima! Boy, is she a force to be reckoned with. Facing your fears. Uh, this is um, some major spiritual changes are unfolding in your life. Um, and this, this is your chance to really soar. This is your chance to fly. I'm hearing right now Sia's um, bird set phrase. So it's that idea of um, letting yourself fly, letting your voice fly, letting everything happen and enjoying the ride, so to speak, and enjoying this path that you're being taken on. Maybe it's unexpected for you. And um, facing all of those Fears can be daunting sometimes. It's completely understandable. Um, whether it's if you're performing or um, talking about something difficult that happened in your life, uh, facing those fears and being honest with yourself and accepting them is one of the most important things that you can do because it is a major step in the healing process. So let's pull a few more cards here for you. Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is such a beautiful, powerful angel. Uh, I feel like he has been by my side 
through a majority of my life, I call on him if I feel threatened as I am walking down the street alone. If I'm with my dog, I ask for him to protect me. If I feel like I'm in any kind of danger, I ask for him to protect me. If I feel like anyone in my life is in danger, I ask for him to protect them. Archangel Michael is uh, one of, of course, the most protective of all angels and um, is all about trusting that you have that protection that you have that protection from Archangel Michael, you have that protection from the universe. It's um, learning to trust again, and sometimes that can be one of the hardest things to do, especially if you've been extremely wounded, if you've gone through a lot of trauma in your childhood, um, which is, I'm hearing someone has gone through a lot of trauma in their childhood. Um, perhaps I'm seeing mostly women, so perhaps, um, it, it was a woman that tra traumatized you in your childhood. Of course, it does happen. Um, women are abuse as abusive to men as men are to women, and it's even worse when the mother is abusive to their child. It can cause so many issues. It's absolutely amazing. Um, the just the emotional issues that I've seen, whether it's in my friends or something that I've studied when I was studying psychology, it's just it mind-boggling because that is the your mother is supposed to be your nurturing force, and when she is abusive, it is extremely detrimental to um, your emotional stability as a. a child and as you get older you find these issues keep popping out here and there and i feel like um a lot especially for a, a mother to abuse her daughter it's it's difficult it's just as bad for a mother to abuse her son don't get me wrong but there's something more biting about a mother abusing her daughter um, it can be extremely difficult to heal from, um, but trusting and having faith in the universe to have your back, that you have the ability to face your fears. Maybe this woman is also about to become a mother and being terrified of doing so. Uh, everything's gonna be fine, everything's gonna be just fine. You've got the protection of heaven on your side. Everything's going to be just fine. Relax, have faith, focus. Okay, everything is going to be just fine. Let's pull another card here. So we have now Saint Germain. So we have all that karma is being released. All of it's being released. It's like everything's come full circle here for you. And that whether it's a, um, a music project or a child, everything, it's sort of like, well, it can take a long time to put together um, a CD and have it come out um, when you need it to and have it dropped. It's, um, you know, it takes nine months, of course, close to 10 months to bring a child into the world. And for sometimes, for music, for people, that takes years, <laughs> right? So w with the major birth of a child or a, a project, um, in the process of doing all of that, you've actually been releasing a lot of karma. And the people that have hurt you, are going to be um, dealt their karmic blows. So I'm gonna um, let's let's look a little bit more into this karma releasing for you. Let's see what we have here. Huh? Cloak of wisdom, Kutumi. 
and here we're seeing the sign of the Ankh, which I have on my hand, which is a sign of protection, cloak of wisdom. So your wisdom is what is causing everything that you learned in the process is helping to break those karmic ties. I'm actually hearing someone laughing, saying that your humor is going to be an unbelievable source of healing, of being able to understand that your imperfections, your flaws, uh, they're actually kind of funny. So don't don't worry, don't stress about this stuff so much. Um, you're one, one of your best traits is your sense of humor. Um, here I'm seeing also the OM symbol, so perhaps you are also into meditating, so that idea of um, quieting your mind, sitting in quiet contemplation, um, you don't need to do the chant of OM, but this is what that symbol does um, signify. But as you um, chant that OM, you can feel yourself relax so much. And if you don't want to do the chanting yourself, you can go on YouTube and you can look it up, look up Tibetan chanting OM. And you will see a slew of videos that you can listen to or watch to help you in your meditation technique. And it can take you to a very interesting place uh, energetically and with sound and you start to feel so relaxed. It's such an amazing feeling. Okay. Is there anything else that my collective to know. Whoop. Mary Magdalene. This is amazing. What a beautiful way to end this reading. Mary Magdalene, um, the, the teacher that is within you is awakening. So um, after all of these uh, years of everything that you've learned, you can now relay all that wisdom to the people who need it the most. Um, you have something important to share. Follow your inner call and don't let anything stop you. Oh, sorry. Clumsy. It's a beautiful card. I, I'm hearing something um, interesting is coming through uh, your your humor, your music, uh, the way that you are as a person is going to be very healing for some people and um, getting your message out is very important. So um, whether it's start a YouTube channel or you want to put something up on TikTok, social media is going to be very important for you. I feel like you are um, going to be a star here um, in a very beautiful way. Um, oh, this is beautiful reading. And to continue having faith. Faith in the universe. Faith in your belief system, faith in yourself, faith that you've got the support around you that you need, uh, and that will help to bring about everything that you desire in your life and what you deserve, and deserving that love and deserving that appreciation that you crave so much. Um, you will be appreciated greatly and um, I'm also hearing you know something that I know that I've heard quite a bit in my life is um, you kind of get what you give and so if you give off a lot of love then you'll get back love if you give off a lot of anger 
then you're gonna get some anger back. If you get, give off confusion, then you'll get some more confusion back. So it's about gaining that clarity in your life and pinpointing what it is exactly that you want, using that perspective to be able to see to that pinpoint of what it is that you want to accomplish being able to look at all the periphery around you and getting the really the grand scope at the same time it's sort of like when i was studying photography you can zoom in on something especially if you're using your macro lens and you can see things in great detail beautiful beautiful detail but once you pull back and you start to change your depth of focus you can totally change what the picture is so sometimes it might look distorted and strange as you start to pull back on your depth of focus but then as you look at it from a different perspective you can see things in a completely different way so um i'm feeling like there's another photographer here um <laughs> <laughs> we could we can talk about photography more on this channel if we want to um i i'm happy to do so i love photography and i have for a very very long time um how about one more card one more card just to get a little bit of clarity on this cloak of wisdom Top, Joan of Arc, the voice of truth. So sing it, sister. Sing it. Say it. Be truthful. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Stand strong in your faith. Stand strong in your beliefs. Just stand strong, my loves. Stand strong. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if this resonated with you, uh, let me know. Uh, hit that like button. I would appreciate it. Or make a nice comment. I would appreciate that too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.